Welcome to video 10.1 for the UOIT AEDT program's Adult Learning in a Digital Context course. In this video, we will examine the items you see before you on the screen. Before we begin, take a few moments, pause the video, and consider the following questions. Let's begin with the terminology. What exactly is a portfolio? A portfolio could be defined in a variety of ways. It could be a case for holding materials such as loose papers, photographs, or drawings. It could also refer to the materials collected within the case, like an artist's portfolio. A portfolio could also refer to a group of investments held by an organization or individual. In education, a portfolio could also refer to a collection of items but it is much more than just the collection. There are three general purposes for using portfolios. Learning or working portfolios are completed on an ongoing basis, and the purpose is formative in nature, ongoing assessment of growth. Assessment portfolios could also be more summative in nature, where the portfolio is used to gather evidence of student learning within a particular unit of time for evaluative purposes. Employment or best work or showcase portfolios are typically used for marketing purposes, showcasing best work for employment purposes. We will focus on educational portfolios for assessment purposes, which encompasses both learning and assessment. Please pause to read Helen Barrett's general description of educational portfolios. Note the critical components of a portfolio. Why are the learner's reflections critical parts of an educational portfolio? Please pause to read Wiggins' description and note any similarities or differences from the previous description. Please pause to read Stiggins' description and note any similarities or differences from the other descriptions. Lastly, pause to read the description by the Northwest Evaluation Association as quoted in Paulson, Paulson and Meyer. And again, note any similarities or differences from the previous descriptions. To summarize, as described by Barrett, an educational portfolio is a purposeful collection of work that demonstrates efforts, progress, and achievement over time in one or more educational contexts. Barrett identifies the following elements of a portfolio. An artifact refers to a piece of work that is selected by the learner based on the learning objectives of the course or portfolio. Then the student must provide a brief reflection on the work, an explanation regarding how the artifact demonstrates achievement of the learning objectives. Lastly, there is some sort of feedback or assessment by the instructor or perhaps peers. An electronic or e-portfolio is still a purposeful collection of work. However, it incorporates electronic techniques as the holder or container, as opposed to binder or paper. This allows learners to collect and organize various media such as video, audio, text, graphics, and materials are organized using hyperlinks that connect the materials to the learning objectives. Hmm. Back to the learning objectives. Barrett further explains how electronic portfolios allow learners to first collect a variety of work within some type of digital archive. Learners then select specific pieces of work for a purpose. They need to consider how a piece of work from their collection could reflect their learning as per the learning objectives. The learner must then provide a reflection on how the artifact demonstrates their learning. Learners then set goals for future learning based on growth. And a celebration reflects sharing learning with peers or others. This video provided you with a brief introduction to educational portfolios. The resources that follow provide more in-depth information and research regarding portfolios and are also listed on the course website. This resource provides an excellent introductory piece by Dr. Helen Barrett. This resource, also by Dr. Barrett, 
provides an overview of researching electronic portfolios and learner engagement. Lastly, this page provides extensive resources on electronic portfolios. Let's take a look. As you can see, there are online videos, podcasts, publications, and workshops. These resources will provide you with direction and guidance regarding the use of portfolios within a digital context. This video introduced you to portfolios. Consider the following questions that we will discuss during the tutorial. This is what the video addressed. And thank you for watching.